in today's video we're going to be diving into the upcoming pattern we have plenty of storms moving around the nation they're going to be bringing a multiple threats of severe weather in general uh, a couple of major days are expected ahead unfortunately as it's already been a very active season we expect more of that to come so let's just dive into things we take a look here at the northwest for today uh, and what we see is that there is some snowfall happening across the northern rocky states like montana idaho wyoming here as we do have a 998 right there over south dakota some showers up to the north of this area as well for states like montana north dakota in through minnesota to the south we see plenty of thunderstorms and showers down here for texas oklahoma missouri arkansas tennessee kentucky indiana illinois northern mississippi northern alabama and northern georgia uh, these are some areas we're going to be watching for some severe weather throughout the day today also the mid-atlantic here as well a pocket of some pretty bad thunderstorms since we do have a level one marginal risk throughout a lot of the northeast and mid-atlantic as we move towards uh, this evening and towards tomorrow afternoon, actually better yet, we see this pocket of severe weather is going to really be located uh, over the Midwest here. So states like Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, so down through some of the plains as well. And then for areas around that Mississippi River area, like Western Kentucky, Western Tennessee, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Missouri, Southern Illinois, and Southern Indiana there, that pocket is going to be another area to watch. By Saturday afternoon, what we see here is plenty of showery activity here across the Northwest. Rainfall and snowfall showers, respectively, depending on your elevation here, happening throughout the Rockies, Cascades, and even up into Western Canada there. Uh, we do see for a lot of areas here in uh, the deeper south, up and down the east coast, we have another day of potential thunderstorms and severe weather on the way. South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, Maryland, and D.C., as well as areas throughout Delaware, Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York. Uh, these areas are all experiencing some thunderstorm activity uh, for the day on Saturday, May 25th. Uh, so to start your Labor Day weekend off, we're seeing some, or Memorial Day better yet, uh, weekend off we do see some uh, thunderstorms and severe weather there to start it off on saturday now as we reach towards sunday we see the east coast is a little bit nicer uh, we can see that things are looking uh, a little bit stormy along the immediate east coast there's a chance here for some thunderstorms and showers happening uh, but mostly as we move inland here towards this low in I uh, Illinois, better yet, uh, we see thunderstorms happening throughout Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, Indiana, Illinois itself, Kentucky, Tennessee, and even into Ohio. So a lot of thunderstorms and severe weather potential in there, unfortunately, for Sunday, May 26th. Now, as we reach towards Monday on uh, May 27th, which is actually Memorial Day itself, uh, we do see that the East Coast gets a little bit more of this activity. So a little bit nasty, unfortunately. Uh, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, Ohio Valley, down through the Southeast and into the deeper South here. Uh, we can see thunderstorms and showers happening very prevalently uh, throughout these eastern regions unfortunately and it's all due in part to this 989 millibar low pressure center here over uh, michigan that is really causing a lot of this activity out to the east and we do actually have a secondary low here 1005 over virginia and north carolina which is also aiding in a lot of this activity as we reach towards tuesday afternoon on may 28th we see that this low moves further northward up into Canada, 988 now. And we see that really the only areas in the United States seeing activity as a result of this one are going to be areas in the upper Midwest and Great Lakes, as well as the interior eastern states here like Ohio up through uh, northern New England. Now, overall, the jet stream is clearly in a ridge trough pattern, ridge here over some of the Rockies, and then trough here over a lot of the Midwest and Northeast. Um, we do see some activity really uh, regaining some steam here for Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. So the potential return to some of this severe weather in more of this corridor is possible. Uh, the plain states beginning to see more activity uh, once again. On Wednesday, May 29th here, we do see a lot of activity up and down this kind of, again, eastern region for Ohio. Uh, in Mostly the interior eastern states, I'd say, by Wednesday the 29th. Showers and thunderstorms are possible for the Rockies plains and even down into the southern plains as well for thursday here on may 
30th, we do see thunderstorms around for the upper Midwest, the Midwest itself, the central and southern plains, as well as some of the deeper south. So we are seeing these thunderstorms in the middle of the nation, but relatively quiet on the eastern and western areas. As we reach towards Friday on May 31st, what we see here is a lot of thunderstorms and showers starting at the southern Rockies, working our way through the central and southern plains into some of these deeper south areas and even the Ohio Valley on the northern extent and reaching towards the southeast coast. So it's going to be a southern themed thunderstorm uh, to start out the weekend here for Friday on May 31st. Saturday on the 1st of June, though, we do see thunderstorms possible throughout the deeper south central states into, again, the deeper south Ohio Valley as well, and then the mid-Atlantic and southeast again. Uh, so we're seeing this kind of rise up, and it's probably due to this ridge in the west, trough in the central states, and then another more minor ridge here in the east, which is allowing for a lot of this humidity, warmth, and overall thunderstorms to reach northward there along the eastern regions. As we reach towards the total precipitation, we see that the theme here is, again, the central states, as I've mentioned, but this does reach towards uh, the mid-Atlantic and northeast states as well. So if you take this anywhere from these central regions eastward, that is the theme here for the above average activity in the reds. Northwest is quite average, and then same with the southwest. It's very average for them to have little to no precipitation this time of year, and probably below average here for the Gulf Coast up through Florida as well, as they just seem to get dodged by these storms that are mostly moving to the north uh, for the time being at least. For total snowfall, still strikingly we see a lot. Uh, the Cascades have died down to where it's just a trace amount expected. Same thing for the Ca or the Sierra Nevada there. But the Rockies still at about 1 to 2 feet here, especially in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming, which usually they are the last to see it. So we'll see what happens. Will we see some June snowfall still? Only time will tell. I'm curious to keep up with that, to say the least. Let's take a look here at the temperature anomalies and overall the temperature pattern that we expect. And uh, the one thing I will say about this uh, Memorial Day weekend is it will be very warm across a lot of the central and the eastern states here. Rather cool out west, though, unfortunately. So this is for Saturday uh, evening on the 25th. Let's take it towards Sunday here on the 26th. And what we see is, again, warmth prevailing up the east coast, some for the south central states. And then we have cooler air across a lot of the northwest and north central states, especially. And then for Monday on Memorial Day, uh, we do see some cooler air trying to move into the east, but there's still some warmth around for the eastern seaboard and for the south central states. But I will say for the west, things do warm up in a hurry, so you could have a very nice day for Memorial Day on Monday, May 27th. Now, as we move beyond that date, we see this cold really wants to move in and stick around from early to midweek next week for the east. Most of the warmth located here across the southwest and north central states with some cooler air for the northwest as well. As we keep going towards Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we see finally the warmth is trying to return to the east. By the time we're taking a look at Tuesday on June 4th and beyond, uh, but it's still not super hot. I'm not seeing any signs of heat waves in the east at all, but near normal to above normal seems to become a lot more possible as we reach towards June. So only time will tell. I know it's been a very dreary April and May, unfortunately, much cooler than normal, um, you know, drier in spots, wetter in spots, but overall just cooler. And it looks like it's going to continue into the beginning of June, unfortunately. I wish I had better news there, but I really, really don't. I'm hoping for warmth, but so far we haven't really seen it. Let's take a look at the Storm Prediction Center real quickly. And for day one, we do have a lot of activity over many different states. We have three general thunderstorm risk areas in the lighter green. So for Florida... Washington, Idaho, and Montana, and then for a lot of the central and eastern states, we do see these lighter green areas, and that is where we expect general thunderstorms, but anything is possible, so be sure to heed every watch, warning, and advisory. That is where we expect general thunderstorms, but of course, severe weather can happen, and these predictions can be wrong. I always say that. Now, for the level one marginal risk area, that's going to be the darker green area, so if you're in there, we expect isolated severe weather reports to come in from these areas and overall stronger thunderstorms possible. Should be pretty isolated though. Yellows, we have three of those. One for Kentucky and Tennessee, one for Maine, believe it or not, and then one across the plains and Midwest. That is our level two slight risk area and that is where we expect scattered about severe weather reports to come in. And then for the orange area there for Nebraska into Iowa, that is where we have a level three enhanced risk and we expect uh, more widespread severe weather to be possible within there for day two which will be for tomorrow on friday may 24th 
We have two general thunderstorm risk areas here where, again, we expect uh, no severe weather, but it is possible, so continue to pay attention. Darker green area here is our marginal risk where we expect isolated severe weather. And then from Texas up through a lot of the kind of Midwest and Ohio Valley, that is where we have a level two slight risk and expect scattered about severe weather. For day three on Saturday, May 25th here, we have, again, a general thunderstorm risk area, marginal risk area, slight risk area, and another enhanced risk for Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. So two widespread potential severe weather days. And then for day four, look at this outlook. We have for Sunday on May 26th, at least a slight risk is expected here in the yellow areas. And then at least an enhanced risk is expected here in the oranges. So three out of the next four severe weather days are expected to feature uh, widespread potential severe weather impacts. So yes, a very bad stretch of severe weather is on the way here for the next few days. I hope everybody heeds every watch, morning, and advisory. Pay attention to the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center. And please, 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 be safe as these storms are very serious as we've seen all springtime long this year it's been a terrible terrible tornado year especially but overall severe weather has just been extremely active so please be safe pay attention and be alert anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video we do upload every single day so be sure to subscribe you can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video